What's going on guys? Cody from Southeast Southwash. We're into December. Today's the 15th midweek. Uh, we're releasing a video today and showing you guys kind of a new product. Now, these valves, we've had these out for, I guess, about a month now. And this is our Batch Buster Valve Series. Really proud of these. It hit the market by storm. We're gonna have a lot of vendors actually picking these up and using them. But my favorite thing about the Batch Buster Series is the modularity that's available with this valve design. So if we look here, kind of at what the industry is used to using previously, uh, this has been around forever. GF half inch metering valve worked just fine forever. It was the best thing on the market. Uh, totally fine on flow rate for anything in that five gallon a minute, even to a seven gallon a minute Remco, uh, because the valve is a half inch valve, but you could play around with some of your plumbing on the other side, the tanks and the suction lines. And this would support those systems. At the last few years, the industry has been uh, chomping at the bit for these higher flow systems. And so we've had other valves kind of coming around. These are Kim lines. We used a ton of these great quality as well. Both of these are, are good quality valves. Uh, there's other ones out there. There's some Ashai. Uh, there's, uh, there's two or three other ones that are kind of slipping my mind. There are features on all of them that were okay. They worked fine, but they were not ideal and they were definitely not made for soft washing. So what we've released here, uh, like I said, just in the past month or so is something we've been working on about two years. And this is the batch buster metering, metering valve. So it eliminates the need for multiple sizes of valves because as you'll see, it is a one inch valve body. So it is a high flow valve body. And we just sort of engineered the capability to run a half inch system or a one inch system, depending on what kind of pump you were gonna use. Uh, this is the original ball that's in our batch buster here in all the batch busters. We've got a box full of them over there. We've got more coming, but this ball is gonna be really comparable to the Asha or the uh, Kim line metering ball. And it's totally fine guys. It, this is what I know is gonna happen. Everybody's gonna forget about these and move to these. And then this is gonna soon become like, this was not ever big enough. It is, it's plenty. It's way bigger than this. So this will run uh, any of your 24 volt air diaphragm booster pump kind of stuff because it's a one inch valve, tons of flow. Um, but what we've done here on our standard, this is a standard batch buster. It's got this ball on the inside, same flow pattern basically as a Kim line, as an Ashi, and that's your metering ball. All right, so you can see we've got a really specific V groove here that allows the metering and tons of flow for that higher flow system. The batch buster, as you guys know, if you follow the channel, we've got some red couplers here. So this would be your higher flow system. If you're gonna run a 24 volt, right? This, this is fine. And you're not gonna wanna use the half inch couplers. So you change your couplers out with the coupler kit to the one inch coupler. So that's your high flow batch buster modular. I love it. Well, here's the new thing that we were working on along with this the whole time. And we've kinda got them in stock now. We've got a very limited quantity let you guys see up close the difference here. So this is your super ball and it's the same. It's gonna work the same in your system, but if you'll notice your starting point here on the standard ball for the batch buster, chem line, don't matter. They're all gonna be this way, Re really small. And it wraps around to the, the high flow side. This would be like your 6% setting or your op wide open flow. Oh, hey, I caught it. But if you look here on the super ball, our starting point is almost as big as the ending point, the fat side here on the standard ball. Again, I'm not saying this is no good anymore. This is totally fine on probably 80% of the systems out there. But as we keep pushing the envelope into these higher flow systems, we wanted to have a little bit more modularity in the valve. So this super ball here will drop into place in the batch buster. So if you got one of these, you can change the you can't because we're not going to send you the tool to take this apart. You could do it. We're not going to encourage you to do that. We're not going to sell just the ball because we know Richard's holding the camera. It would be an eternity of tech support tickets because guys wouldn't put them back together correctly. So what we're going to do is offer this ball valve this way. It comes with the red kit anyway, the red couplers, and then we're going to have a separate valve listed on the website, kind of like it's a separate item with the super ball installed in it from us. You don't have to do anything. If you need the super flow, uh, high flow ball here, ultra high flow super ball, you just order that valve on the website. It's the same valve, but the only way we can do it on the website is just sort of listed as, a, as its own item. 
So we will install this here and look again, reiterate again, you don't need that unless you're in these way upper echelons, a lot of the gas powered systems that are the big, big bore, they're gonna want that. Uh, some of the pumping systems that we're working on at the skunk shop are gonna need something like that. Uh, but most systems are gonna be fine with this because this is way higher flow than this ever thought about being. So this is already a high flow valve, but now we've got something pretty crazy here with the super ball, it's a ton of flow. We're gonna go over here to a couple of skids and show you guys uh, some testing that we can do to show the difference in these valves. So this one here, if we look inside, Richard, we'll, we'll let them see. So this is your standard batch buster with the half inch coupler kit. And we've got the white ball in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. If we go up from there, we would change this over to the red kit. Internals are gonna be exactly the same. You just got bigger plumbing capabilities with the red coupler kit, same standard one inch ball. And then this one uh, would be what you would get if you ordered the, uh, the super ball. So you can see that that's already installed. Now you'll get both couplers, you'll get the black and the red. So you can play with those to your heart's desire. We just don't want you guys taking these apart a lot of guys could do it, it ain't that bad, but we, we have all kinds of customers that ain't never touched a wrench in their life and they would wind up tearing the valve up, it would just be a nightmare. So we'll put these in here at Southeast Softwash. Here's another piece that's gonna be uh, live on the site today. So that's a blend manifold block uh, with your plumbing. You can also put these together with, you know, parts like this that you can get online from Zorro or Amazon banjo fittings. We like these, this idea, this concept uh, I know Midwest out there, they build stuff like this because it eliminates a lot of joints and it's just one piece. We've been using these, we make these here in house. This is gonna be our standard model going forward. So it's just, again, one thing that can do everything. One inch all the way around, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch outlet to the pump. And we've got another one inch over here. This is for your gas systems that have to go into bypass. So for the rest of us, people in the world that use an electric system, you're just gonna cap the, uh, the side that you don't need for that bypass. I don't like that, but I know a ton of guys are gonna use it. So we just made something that everybody can use. It does have bolt holes already in it, poly block, lasts forever. If we look around over here at the shelf, we've got tons of different variants of these blocks that we use for different equipment builds. And I wanted to just streamline it down. See, there's one that's half inch all the way around. Nothing wrong with that, but since we're going to the batch buster, uh, this is going to be our standard going forward. Just It's just easier for us in the shop, and there's no reason to not run that block. You want higher flow because we can always meter that back here at the valve. So really, really proud of that. Those will be on the site today, one-inch poly blocks. Um, these will be in a limited quantity of valves with these. I think we've got enough to do about 10 uh, batch busters here. So they will be on the site as well. Let's go over here and fire up. We've got two skids. So we've got two identical skids here. We've got Lumax Pro with 24 volt, Lumax Pro with a 24 volt. This skid's got the super ball. This skid's got the standard high flow ball. What we're gonna do is as a test, there's a couple of ways we can test this with distance. We've already flooded the shop. Uh, but this one, all three lines are open. Same thing over there, all three lines are open. I'm gonna hold the wands in the same position let you guys see kind of from my perspective, holding them, it's really obvious. As we're flowing, they should be about identical. Uh, the one on the Super Bowl will be a little bit more flow, but when we go to one valve only, when I give the guys the, uh, the signal, they're gonna cut the bleach and the soap lines off, and we're gonna go down to just the water valve on each system at the same time, and that's when you're really gonna see the difference in these two. So let me get in position here. This is the standard, this is the Super Bowl here, so I'm gonna try to hold these pretty much identical there. All right, gents, we can cut the pumps on. Ready? All right. That's basically identical stream patterns there. Same angle. All right, guys, kill it. We're gonna go to one valve. So what you're seeing on the left is a drastic drop in volume, one valve only over here is basically the same. All right, cut them all three back on. As you can see with all three lines back on, the Super Bowl does still have a little bit more volume to play with, but uh, it's not life-changing. This one over here is the standard 
batch buster high flow. All right, let's go back to water only again. Boop. Well, that's a pretty massive difference. And what that's translating to uh, in distance is about 10 feet. So that's pretty impressive. All right, we can kill it. Pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, amount of distance change here. We've tested it here in the shop several different ways with the laser. I put my laser down somewhere. Laser envy. There's a Buzz Lightyear joke. But we do, we've do. we got a laser uh, reader in here. We're getting on one valve only about 10 foot more distance with the Super Ball. Where that's really going to come into play, guys, if we look here, think about being out on the job site. With all three wide open, like I said, you're not going to see maybe three feet, two to three feet extra distance, which sometimes that can be all you need to get a job done without having to get a ladder. So we're usually getting about 60 feet out of a 24 volt. Now we're getting about 62, 63 feet. Um, that's without a tall reach tip. You might get over there 64 feet, which is pretty impressive. But where it really shines is let's say you're uh, doing a house wash, right? And you're about there on your bleach and you know, you don't need a lot of soap. You're you're metered way back on the other two valves, bleach and soap, your chemical lines. Well, now you're kind of starving the pump. And as you saw, you lose a, a significant amount of reach. So with the super ball, that blue ball there, you're gonna be able to get pretty much the same distance all the time because you're always giving the pump enough liquid for it to do its thing. Pretty cool. There are gonna be a few limited quantity available. Click the link down below. On the website, it's gonna look like a separate item. Again, it's the same valve. It's just the guts inside will be different. We got a very limited quantity of those, I think 10 or, or 12. One thing I will mention, if you get them, you gotta run them as a set. You've gotta have the same uh, on the water and the bleach. Surfactant is an additive. You don't need to replace that one unless you just want to, uh, but you do need to run them, both the bleach and the water, the same, because if you don't, your ratios will be off. You won't be pulling uniformly. You'll, whichever one the blue ball's in is gonna be way stronger. Uh, if you had it on the bleach, you'd be running like a crazy mixture all the time. So just make sure you remember that. We'll see you guys in the next video.